So, Jane, we're here at Mobile World Congress 2019 at the Nokia booth, yeah. talking private LTE networks. What are you showcasing this year? So we have, this year we've got a lot of things because dedicated networks or private LTE is, is being used for many things. So we're actually standing in our connected industries area um, where we're using uh, private LTE over the other side or for, yeah. for things like quality control in, in factories. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the evolution to 5G where we then are talking about, uh, as you see behind me, our partnership with Bosch, yeah. um, where we're talking what does it take to, to use uh, wireless technology within factories. In this case, can we do emergency buttons, can we do robot control and operations uh, over wireless and we will still be able to fulfill the safety requirements there is. And then behind us we have uh, port operations and, and how does how can you use wireless technology starting with LTE today but moving on to, to 5G in the future for operations of the ports, environmental parts, inspections, actually operating the whole harbors uh, with it. If we then continue on the other side we have we have actually quite many places where we use LTE in type of, of dedicated closed environments. It's everything from stadium experiences and, and these more entertainment things to uh, how can you use it in terms of um, building sensors into to, uh, environments where you work, where you need to know whether it's into close for safety reasons or it's into uh, are people, are truck drivers falling asleep and you can measure these type of things. So we see a lot more dedicated networks, a lot more use case that is not just consumer based of, of more uh, type of, of videos and everything else that we're watching over the, the wireless networks today, but it really is expanding quite a bit. So we have a big range of different parts on here, or just of cloud gaming if you're interested. Well, let's break it down. Uh, I mentioned the term private LTE networks and you said we'd like to call it dedicated network. So why don't you compare and contrast the difference between a private and a dedicated it, it, network? It is, it's purely about words, right? Yeah. Because uh, private always makes sounds like it's a little closed part. Whereas dedicated networks, what we do see is that for, for a lot of it, uh, a lot of the applications, there can be a wish for saying, maybe I need to break out into a commercial network with certain parts and therefore dedicated networks, where then we're talking about what are we building the network for, what are we optimizing it for, but it's not necessarily a private uh, thinking only, it because we do see uh, deployments coming with operators and we see right. deployments going directly without operators and, and both have got different, it depends on the use case, it depends on the on the setup for the individual uh, parts that there is, um, is the spectrum available, is there not. So I, I personally like the word dedicated networks yeah. better um, because I think we're not locking in or saying anything about ownership.